Welcome to a new Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Um, from time to time I get someone asking me how to import a new font into the engine. Uh, which is pretty simple. Uh, with a few modifications. So, I'm going to show you that now. Um, and in case you don't have any fonts to use, which you do if you have an operating system, but anyway, I will provide you with one just for fun so you can go into your browser write unrealtutorials.com and go to downloadable content font and here we have the beautiful other Ben font <laughs> which of course is my own writing so just go down here click download and you will download the TTF file which is what you need so when that's done just click out and open unreal engine and it doesn't really matter what project type of file you're choosing using so i just open a minimal default okay so we can start by right clicking in the content browser and creating a new folder and just call it my awesome awesome font yes in here then import go to your downloads and locate the font uh, here we go the Ben font <laughs> save all and open this now I'm not gonna do an in-depth in-depth <laughs> Uh, version of this but just enough for you to be able to do it so what you have here is the default font and you can add more fonts here like you know bold version and italicized version and so on but we're just gonna use this one for now you can also increase the size so you can see the preview here so you know this is pretty much okay so when you've done this, let's uh, create a user interface, widget blueprints, and just name it font test, for example, and open this. In here, you can drag in a text element or a widget. Now you see text block here, so go to font, and you see Roboto, which is Unreal's default font. And here we have the bin font. And there it is, you know. Super cool text font block, yes. So this is, that's how easy it is to get your font in if you're going to use it for a UMG. Uh, but it doesn't end here, unfortunately. So let's say now you want to have just a text render element inside of your... Uh, game area whatever <laughs> so we search for <clears throat> text and we drag this in now oops if we let's see <coughs> if we now go to found here in the details panel and choose the Ben font then it disappears hmm and so that's where the problem comes in because if we now re revert it back to let's see reset the default uh, we can see that this is Roboto distance field which is something else so if we look for that so with that we're gonna browse the content browser and we see here we have the regular regular Roboto font which is the same thing as you just saw with the Ben font but that's not what they're using they're using the distance field and as you can see this is something completely different so we need to create a distance field version of the font you want to use so that's where the trouble you could say comes in so that's what we're gonna do now so go back to your font and right click it 
then duplicate and give it a name for example the name plus distance field control save and open it um, now we need to enable distance field and we can't do that while it's on runtime so we need to set this the font cache to offline yes and then it wants us to do this so just select the font you need so I'm gonna take the Ben font and don't use medium because it's really you know uh, thin so use bold and take uh, size yeah 20 22 that should be okay so okay and now we can go to the details uh, no first no import options that's more like it so in the import options you have this use distance field alpha check that after that one is checked go to assets re-import so now it's generating the file we want and there you go so save and exit now uh, we're still not completely done because as you can see here this text render has a text material default text material opaque so what we need to do is copy this so we will browse for it in the content browser and here it is and I will right click it and duplicate it and I'll give it a new name uh, for example the Ben font text material like that now click this to show the source panel and oh yeah there we go so grab it and Pull it, put it into my awesome font folder, folder and take move here like that now open this text material as you can see this is a Roboto right now so we'll click the font and we'll choose the newly created the Ben font distance field here we go save now we can go to the text render again and go to fonts and choose your chosen font and as you can see this is just some jumbled nonsense but now we can find the text material And there we go. So this is Ben's handwriting. Yeah. Let's have it black. So you know. There you go. So that's that's how you have to do it. So yeah, hope that was helpful and have a great day.